Good morning, all. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Happy Sunday. Uh, we're all aware of our current event uh, situations uh, that's going on, and uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of distractions and and things going on in our current affairs. Uh, we got the coronavirus that's had us locked down for a couple of months now, several months. We haven't been able to meet together and and. Uh, fellowship uh, together as a as a body um, the things that are happening now the the riots that are happening and and the chaos and the looting and the and the hurting of people uh, just it's easy to get caught up in our in our current events the current affairs uh, that's happening and uh, to be distracted it reminds me of uh, Luke when when some people came to Jesus uh, to tell him about some of the some of the events that have taken place, uh, if you will turn with me to Luke, chapter thirteen, and in verse one it says, "Now there were some present at the time who told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mixed with the sacrifices." Jesus answered, "Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered this way? I tell you, no." But unless you repent, you too will perish. Or those 18 who died on the tower in Siloam fell on them. Do you think they were more guilty than all the others living in Jerusalem? <clears throat> I tell you no. But unless you repent, you too will all perish. So I was thinking, when I was thinking about our current events and I was thinking about, I started thinking about this verse and how easy it is to get caught up and distracted with 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 everything that's going on. You know, we, I know that I work. We've been sitting around, and and that's the topic that comes up. You know, it, did you see the vid? Did you see the news last night? Did you see what happened in downtown Albuquerque? Did you see what the president said? Uh, you know, all all, all these things uh, that are happening, and I just find that it's really easy to get distracted and lose focus of what's real. Uh, Paul says, Paul says in Corinth, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 2, he says, For I refuse to know anything but Christ and Him crucified. So I just wanted, I just wanted to encourage everybody today that even, even though our current event situation uh, is really uh, dismal and, and not looking good and it's, it's, it's scary, you know, it, it, it's scary to see what's going on in the world, that we shouldn't be discouraged and we shouldn't be distracted from the real goal, from, from our Lord Jesus Christ. We need, a, we need to pray together as a body <clears throat> and be focused on the real objective at hand, to seek first His kingdom, uh, because we're just, we're just passing through in this world. This world is not our home. Uh, so I just wanted to, to encourage everybody with that and, and uh, as we sit down and partake of uh, uh, remember, honor the Lord's Supper today that, uh, that we just really focus and not be uh, distracted and, and, and be uh, lose heart of the things that are happening in, in our world today that we can have courage that Christ has already fulfilled everything, that he has already conquered everything, and that we can have uh, faith in Christ. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, uh, just thank you as we, as we come to commemorate the death of your son who died on the cross. Uh, we know that he is the truth and the light. And we pray, Lord, we pray that as we partake of this body, the bread, and we remember his sacrifice that he died on the cross, how his body was scorned, and how he was rejected by, by man, and how his death was a horrible death, but he gave his life freely for us. A life that was he was willing to give on our behalf <clears throat> so that we can have life. We thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we partake of the fruit of the vine, it represents the blood, the blood that was shed from our Lord's body, the blood that was shed and sacrificed for the forgiveness of our sins, Lord. We pray that that our sins, the sins that we have committed, that they will be forgiven, and we pray for the sins of those that are out there that are causing uh, mischief and, and that don't know you, Father. I pray that we can be a light in this dark, dark place and that we don't lose focus, Lord, that we can be courage, that we can be strong and stand up and that we could be representative of your body here on earth, that we can lead people to Christ, that we can be bold and courageous and speak the name of Jesus to those that we come in contact with, Lord. We thank you for your sacrifice. We thank you for your Son. May your name always be glorified forever and ever. Amen.